In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to add the expression not only, but also to your vocabulary. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, you're going to learn how to add the expression not only, but also to your vocabulary. This is a very advanced expression and is going to help you sound very fluent and professional in English. We use the expression not only X, but also Y to identify two characteristics, traits, or points. This is a formal expression. You can use it in a business presentation or in a formal report or an academic essay. It will help you sound very advanced. Now we have X and Y. The thing to keep in mind is that X and Y are both going to be positive points or they're both going to be negative points but we're not making a contrast with X and Y, so they have to match. For example, I could say Paul's not only intelligent, but also funny. So here our X and Y is intelligent and funny. Now notice in the second part of our sentence, but also funny, notice how I didn't repeat the subject and verb. I didn't repeat but he is also funny. That subject and verb is going to apply for both parts of the sentence. So if you say it in part one, you don't have to repeat it in part two if it's the exact same subject and verb. Now we use this structure, not only X, but also Y, to add emphasis to our two points. Because let's compare this to just a very simple statement, and I could say, Paul's intelligent and funny. Paul's intelligent and funny. Both of these expressions have the exact same meaning. I would say just using not only, but also, I'm emphasizing those two traits and characteristics. Plus, it sounds a lot more advanced. Now, in this example, both of our traits are positive. Intelligent is positive and funny is positive. But I could also use an example where both the traits are negative. For example, I could say, Petra's not only lazy, but also irresponsible. So notice, both my traits, my X and Y, they match, they're both negative. Let's look at another example. I improved not only my speaking, but also my writing. Now notice here, I improved. My verb is in the past. If this was an action in progress, I could say I'm improving. I'm improving not only, but also. Now notice in the second part, I still don't repeat the subject and the verb because it's the same for the first part and the second part, so it's not necessary. Now let's look at one more example where I'm going to change the structure just a little bit. I could say, not only does she speak German, she also speaks Dutch. Now, notice I'm beginning with not only. In this specific case, when I begin with not only, I have to include do as an auxiliary verb. And of course, do is going to be conjugated in the present simple or the past simple or whatever time reference you have. So here, not only does she speak German, but of course, in a normal sentence, I would simply say she speaks German. I wouldn't use the auxiliary verb do. I'm using it in this case only because I'm starting with not only. You can think of this just as a grammar rule that you need to apply to this specific structure when you begin with not only. 
Not only does she speak German, she also speaks Dutch. Now notice in the second part, I'm not repeating the auxiliary verb does. It's not necessary. This is a little more of an advanced structure. If it's too advanced for you, then you don't need it because you can simply say, she speaks not only German, but also Dutch. The meaning is exactly the same. I just wanted to give you the opportunity to take it a little more advanced as well. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave an example using our structure, not only X, but also Y. Get creative and have fun and leave your example in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, now you have this really advanced expression added to your vocabulary to impress your friends in English. I can't wait to hear you use it. So leave your example in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.